After my last video about the new firmware update on my LG ZX, I got a lot of questions from people how to access the service menu, how to get the latest firmware update, how to change yeah, the server settings from public to engineering channel. And yeah, I decided to make a video about this, not just to show you how to change this. Also, I like to tell you how important it is that we are very, very careful what we're changing in this menu. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Hamburg for All. This is just a very quick video about how to access the service menu on the LG ZX and what you need actually. And yeah, of course, what you need is a service remote control in this case, or in my case, I ordered this one from Amazon and I will put the link in the description. And the uh, model type is the MKJ3917082. Yeah, so and how to access the service menu, it's actually quite simple because we have here two buttons here, the adjust button and the instart button. And what we need, we like to change uh, the update server from the public to the engineering mode and we can find this option in the instart or when we press the instart button and we're doing this now and we're getting this window here, we have to enter a password and the password is 0413. So, and now we're here. And again, it is very, very important that we're not starting to changing anything because I have no idea what all those um, settings are. Yeah, what are the settings about? I have really no idea. So what I can tell you is when you go to uh, system point number five or option point number five, system two, you have this NSU mode. And this is right now in user mode, which is the standard setting, which means public server okay so when we like to change this we can actually just change this to engineering mode and then now we are on the engineering update channel but again we need to make very very sure or you need to be sure about this if you change this and you update your tv it can also be that maybe you're ending up with a yeah with a faulty firmware with something which is not quite tested okay but i also have to say we had the issue already that on the public server there was also a firmware update and after this firmware update we had in decreased peak, peak brightness in hdr gaming so i'm not saying um, that the public servers are completely safe to use because still there can something happening but this is for sure not tested at all okay so those firmwares are for testing for the engineers from LG and whatever, they're using those channels to test the firmware. So that's why you need to make sure that you actually like to do this, okay? So because at the end, worst case scenario is that you end up with a non-working TV at the end. It can happen because you don't know what they're doing wrong probably. And you have no chance to yeah downgrade your TV. There's no chance. When you updated your TV to a higher firmware, there's no way to go down. No way, not for you. For the service technician, for sure, he can come, can downgrade your TV, but then you have to pay money. So, because it's not warranted anymore. Anyway, so again, make sure you like to do this, okay? So, in my opinion, um, it's is, is it worse to do it? <laughs> to be very honest, if you're not uh, absolutely tech nerd like I am, like, me then probably not i like to have always the latest stuff i like to test the latest stuff so that's why i'm deciding to do this but i'm well aware that if there's something going wrong then it's just my own fault and no one's else okay so of course after you never changed anything or didn't press a button then it will go away but i'm going back in because now as you can see, this is still on engineering mode. So you don't need to save anything. You don't need to press a OK button or whatever. All what you have to uh, do is actually change this. And this is the very dangerous part on this because if you by accident now change this to on and you don't know it, you, uh, you exit the service menu and maybe because of this setting, something is not working anymore. You have probably no idea what you have done wrong. Okay, So again, make sure you're not pressing the wrong button. Okay, So I will leave this on user channel because I have updated my um, yeah, LG CX already on the engineering channel. But of course, if you like to use the engineering mode, changes to change this change this to engineering mode and then i'm always using the exit button here but in my case of course user mode exit 
And then all what you have to do is, of course, you go to all settings, you go to support, you go to soft software update and you go check for updates. And if there is a new update on this channel, it will prompt you with a yeah, yes and no question if you like to update. And that's how it works. Nothing else. There's not much to do. It's actually quite simple. But again, it's you have to be careful, okay? Okay, so that's it for this video. And again, don't blame me if anything goes wrong, okay? I'm having a lot of questions how to access this menu, a lot of comments always. And I like just to share how I'm doing it. But it's, this is completely on your own risk, okay? I'm not taking any blame or any yeah, responsibility for this, okay? So anyway, at the moment, my LG ZX is updated to the latest engineering firmware, which means we can now play Dolby Vision in 120 hertz on the xbox series x which is great and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel because i will update a couple of games and i will do more testing in terms of dolby vision plus 120 hertz because in my opinion dolby vision is the way to go also in even in games they're not supporting dolby vision yeah natively but still i found dolby vision is doing a little bit yeah HDR a little bit better than HDR 10. Okay, let's say it like this. Anyway, that's enough for this video. I say thank you very much and I see you guys next time. Bye.